In this lesson, I want to explain how your how you insert your def your desired character to build box. As you can see, we uh, have a default character here because all of when you select on a character here, the very important setting will be appear here that there are in a default and everything is nice to create your character here. Uh, this is a uh, nice because uh, for this platformer we have to some setting a special setting for the character that I explained when you click on your correct uh, character please first insert our character and then explain more you can download uh, your free 2d asset uh, here I download this adventure gear here that it has lots of animation as you can see it is <clears throat> it has a lots of image sequence that you can insert in a build box and the build box combine them and make a gift from them and you can use it in a build box after downloading you have access to this uh, folder that uh, all in you can access to uh, all of the animation poses for example for a default animation you can insert just one still image or a sequence images that has animation that make your character interesting for default animation we need ideal animation that the uh, character is standing in position so you click and drag on ctrl a uh, as you can see, the numbers are very important. The order is important. You can click and drag all of them in this default animation. As you can see, it insert here. You can bring it up. And as you can see, we have it can changing position, rotation, scale. You can hold in shift and change the scale of your character here. If you click here, we have transport setting. But if you click in a character, uh, <clears throat> we have the very important setting that i explain them so here you can change the name my character number one the character will be important in the character folder you can change them <clears throat> and here is the default animation when you click on it as you can see when you play we have the default animation pay attention to the this button the loop is important because we want to loop and loop when you click here, you can see your animation here that is uh, standing and it has an animation. But as you can see, we have a problem here. We, if you have a debug mode and as you can see, this is a collision of the platform and this is a collision of the character that we have to uh, correct it on a collision shape when you import something. Okay, as you can see, this is our <coughs> character that uh, because of the before previous character was a circle uh, the collision is like a circle you have to click on a polygon and make it a polygon okay that's correct for now and uh, when you click as you can see it's everything correct and we can move <clears throat> okay we have to uh, insert other animation for moving jumping and other things Okay, going back, uh, we have a die, uh, die animation that when hit the enemy will be die. Click and drag, insert it in a defeated animation, simply click and drag. Going back, we have jump animation, click and drag, insert it in a jump animation, all of those uh, <coughs> images, everything, anything, the, uh, the software combine and do other thing for you and uh, we have the attack no i want to shooting this is run this is run we need to insert it in a move animation okay we have a move animation <clears throat> when we run this is a shoot when we shoot click all of them in a shooting animation oh what and uh, the, another animation is a bullet animation when we want to uh, fire at the enemies okay going to the objects <coughs> and find something like a bullet mm -hmm. 
I find it. Click and drag. As you can see, it's one image. It's not important. You can your bullet have animation or not. Okay, and we are going to test it. What uh, for testing? It's better to play from first. Uh, I first have to explain something. <clears throat> as you can see we have a sound here delete them and i will show you how to insert them uh, okay just another test we have a jumping everything is nice we are moving but we have to move collision but first you have to uh, edit click on edit and edit uh, looping for example if you want to shoot we need a looping that's okay in a jump in a jump when we active the loopings in somewhere we don't need looping <laughs> click play start if you jump as you can see it jump 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 if you want to act like this, you can do, but if you don't like, you can deactivate the uh, loop and just uh, um, this animation uh, play once. As you can see, if you jump, it's play once. <clears throat> I like it more. Okay. Going to the uh, debug with <clears throat> activating the debug mode, as you can see, when we reach the here, because it is slightly uh, up, the collision of the character stick to here. We have to correct that. Look at here, when we play, when we are going here, we stick that here, because as you can see, the shape of the collision is not smooth and correct. Uh, Please smooth your collision at the bottom of the character for passing those bombs because sometimes when you will be sticky and your game is has a lot of problem issues. So going to the character and edit, and here I want to explain the shape editor. Uh, you can reduce the num uh, area from this version. I don't want to be a very uh, hard collision here. I have to smooth it. Click that point and click and add. The point will be add after that point that you selected in this direction. <coughs> Clockwise. As you can see, we have an error. Shape must be convex. It means the shape does not be like this uh, broken in inside. It have to be like a convex. And here is the correct. Okay, this is in incorrect. This is the correct. Bring it here for smoothing the <clears throat> edge of the shape for passing a bombs or something that we want uh, stick to that. Click that again, uh, making plus. You can delete that by uh, click on this the plus icon and make it a convex like this that is nice for me you can close it and as you can see if we play because of the shape are correct you're passing that as you can see that's nice so because of the edge is very uh, hard if you stick to here okay you have to play with your yeah okay as you can see the character uh through behind these bushes okay in a scene manager i forget that you tell something we when you right click on anything in the uh, <clears throat> scene we have something to uh, some setting to bring them to forward or bring them to back for example if you bring it to back as you can see we have the character here it's like a photoshop the layer that in the up will be at the top of the other object as you can see this is my character and this is the bushes that are here the in layering down you can right click or you can click and drag it to change its hierarchy for example going back to the uh, 
character here. As you can see, the character going back. You can right click, bring it to forward, bring it to back. Uh, oh, bring it to back these bushes. As you can see, the um, lowest uh, layer of the build box is always background. You cannot uh, click and drag it behind its error. Okay. So you can change the uh, display layer by this. <clears throat> bring to for uh, bring to forward. Bring that selected object to forward of all object. Bring send to back. It's <clears throat> sending to back all object. Bring forward one step. Bring backward one step. But it's very easy to click and drag and organize the <clears throat> layer here. Okay. Going to the settings and continue with settings, we insert all of the animation and the important things is about the loop. Uh, and we want to test it die animation, defeated animation. In an object, we can insert an enemy or you can insert your enemy. Okay, here, for example, this enemy. Insert it as an object. Rescale it. Here is our enemy, put it here. Going here, you can, uh, as, you, as I said before, we have a lots of uh, presets for object and simply click enemy. It acts like the enemy when the character hit that will be die. It's very simple, everything in the build box. And it is a fix, everything position, and I will explain the linear movement later, don't worry. <clears throat> but change a preset to enemy and when we shoot to enemy the enemy will be die we can change the health of enemy wake up or anything that here that i've explained them later don't worry okay this is our enemy play to die going here and hit the enemy and when we die okay everything is nice and we are going to the game over many automatically okay here we can insert our sound you can Insert the jump sound, shoot sound, and defeat sound. We, I want to insert the sound about defeated and shoot. Okay, going here to the sound and insert a shoot. Simply click and direct release here. This is shoot. And here a die sound. Look. Okay, this is a girl sound and click and drag to the defeated animation and everything is correct and uh, the software do everything for you automatically. Play it. As you can see, if you hit J, we can jump. If you hit S space, we can shoot to enemy. Okay, we destroy enemy. I want to explain a little about the bullet animation. As you can see, if we shoot, the bullet animation is very uh, small. Okay. Here, we have a bullet animation that uh, insert in the center of the software. Here, you imagine the character is exactly at the center and its bullet, its gun is here when we shoot. The bullet, when, for example, bring it here and... Uh, make it larger to see better when we <coughs> shoot as you can see the bullet will be uh, beginning from inside of the character we want to begin from here imagine that uh, axis it's here going going here this is the center of the with a, <coughs> you can scroll with scroll mouse and uh, with uh, holding the middle mouse button you can pan this is character and this is the bullet you can bring it larger you can change you can uh, compare this scale of this bullet with the scale of the animation here okay going here and bring it here imagine the character is here the gun is there and when we shoot 
Oh, that's nice. It's beginning from here and the bullet is uh, big enough. We can change its size as we desire. Okay. And as you can see, when we going to the enemy, we will die and beat the sound. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, going to the gameplay effects. Auto tilt, I will auto. Mm, yes, auto tilt, I will be explained uh, with another character in another lesson. Don't worry. Some of them I have to explain after or later. Here, cast shadow. It means when you insert a light, go into the effect, simply you can click and drag a light here. You can change its radius, for example, a bigger radius. And you can change the red color like this. As you can see, it's behind all of them. You can right click, bring to the front all of them. They are behind the clouds. And cast shadow. <clears throat> if you click this uh, light, you have to activate the cast shadow to uh, cause the shadow for the object. And when you play, as you can see, we have a shadow here of the object. Okay, can see it. The shadow of the object is caused by or uh, produced by the collision of the object. It is very ugly because our collision is very ugly. Okay. If you want to your, it does not cast shadow the character. Click on the settings and turn the cast shadow off. And we have no more shadow for the object. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> and in the next video, we will explain game over mm, effects. Mm, yes, I will be explained in the next video as a gameplay settings. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.